Welcome back, YouTubers. I have changed the pattern of uh, the fo for the follow-ups. First, we'll make some goals, and then we'll try to achieve it. Why? Because without goals, it feels so random that I even speak random words. Okay. So for this follow-up, follow-up number five, number five, goals, number one. Uh, uh, what will be number one call for this follow-up we have already we already have some order retrieval mm, yeah so we are going to show goal one make an incrementing functionality order ID and the last call show it on form main form Mackin form no no it's main form main form show it on a main form for this video we have only two calls make an incrementing functionality for order ID if order ID is, uh, is not equals to something error then order ID will be 1000 and if it is uh, is not equals to something error so the okay sorry if an order ID is not equals to something then order ID will equals to be 1000 if it's something the last ID will be incremented by one only that's the case only that we have to make and we have to show it on the form whenever the form loads okay that's all so how are you going to achieve it it's very simple making an incrementing functionality here what why we are declaring this order id to this to the last ID because we want to show it on the form and uh, so we can uh, and as we have a full control over the this order ID will going to represent its data on the form this order ID and where it order ID comes from from this property so indirectly we will going to make the labels text property to this ID label text value to this ID's value okay so order id is equal to integer cmd dot execute scalar incrementing functionality plus one from the last value add one this is equals to the last value on the table this and then plus one for a new value that's all order id is equal to this if it's not equals to something else, so it's going to make a thousand. Now we'll going to save it all. Open this. We code on initializing components. Before this, make sure you have an instantiated copy of these DB codes. DB codes. DB codes is equals to new DB codes that's all db codes dot retrieve data this will fire this this line of code will fire fire retrieve data method this method and this will going to retrieve the order ID from the database now we have the or now we have the last value with an increment of number one with a number one with an addition of one value in an order ID value so we can easily now change the label order number dot text value to the ID number DB codes dot ID order ID exactly that's all hit a run I hope we don't have any errors yeah we must have an error because we haven't casted it to an to string property as label 
our label containers are string containers I hope this make a build build succeeded make uh, 1000 as you have no data look right click select 1000 rows thousand row you have no data no order ID that's why it changes the value to thousand or it assigns a value to thousand that's all we have achieved our goals thank you for watching we'll be right back soon Allah